have to start working on opening this thing up a little bit. That way, this will, that, that thoracic spine will maintain itself. Okay, lie down, face up. And we'll do this two different practices on your own. Get up, be diligent about this. Uh, face up, face up. And you say it's the left side of your neck or right side? The right side. We want to get that uh, theracane so we can release these muscles up here on the front side. Because this is what's protracting the neck forward. If the neck protracts forward, you've heard about guys that have been paralyzed, right? Did yeah. you ever hear about them? Well, they got paralyzed on a guillotine. So like, let's say, for instance, if your neck is like this, already, and then somebody pulls your neck even further forward, it's like you have no way to resist because all these tissues back here are too elongated, right? Yeah. So if your neck is already back here, you have a better ability to resist that guillotine because you have more muscle that you're right here in your scapula to help, help assist with that. More fiber, more muscle that. Bingo. You get what I'm saying? So that's, that's, that's the main reason why you're feeling that. The muscle that you're Silly feeling Americans that you're stretching. Because you're elongated. Exactly. Do you want to release? Uh, yeah, right here. Yeah, there you go. You gotta get your hip flexors too, dog. Lie down face up real quick. Let me show you something real quick. Face up, face up, face up. You gotta start working on this one. Muscles up here, shoulder are just jacked up. So you just wrap that other cross ball, you put it underneath the hip, right here, and then extend out your body like so. Okay. Then bring that right leg over, bingo. And just pin, point that sucker down. You can't rest my bike. Tuck them Keep your chest down a little lower. So we gotta flatten this out right here. Exhale, chest down. See, we're bringing the chest up a little too high from there. Tuck them under a little more. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Okay, scapula back. Okay, hands up a little bit. Tuck the glutes under a little more. Hold back. And if we want the tension to be right around these areas, and I can notice the muscles at least activating here. Okay, exhale. One more time coming up. Tuck, 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 tuck. There it is. Pull the shoulder blades back. Hold that positioning. Depress the shoulders. Suck the stomach in. So draw the navel in as much as you can. There it is. And good break. So we have to realize that if the neck is drawing forward like this, it's usually a result of your thoracic spine rounding forward. So if we can open these muscles up right here, the neck is going to naturally want to come back more easily. And so therefore, there's less reason for it to spaz out. How does it feel right now? Right. Does it feel any better? Yeah, you loosen it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, but that's why I released all the musculature first. That way, when we go into this, your body's gonna be more receptive to the inputs that we're putting into it yeah. neurologically. You know, so it's like if these muscles are all restricting, and then you're trying to pull your posture back, and they're saying no. Exactly. So at this point, what I do is I'll release that stuff first, so then we can set that posture in little by little, and then hopefully within time, it's like you won't have that same neck issue because everything will just be aligned up. You'll have more fibers to recruit to support the neck again. Let's go. I'll show you another one, dog. Did you, did you, were you finding spots in here? Oh, no, yeah, for sure. Okay, no. Let me show you another one for your upper hand. Lie down, face down. Face down? Yeah, face down. Face down. <laughs> right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is gluteus medius. So let's put it this way, bro. You have big muscles in your you have big muscles on your body and small muscles, right? Uh -huh. Well you wanna get the big muscles firing more than the small muscles because they're gonna initiate more movement, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So you have three major muscle groups in your glutes. You have gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus. And so you want the gluteus maximus to be the most powerful because it's the biggest muscle out of all of them. So when these muscles up here are tight, what they're gonna do is turn off the opposite glute. So it's like if I flex my bicep, what does my tricep do? Elongate. If I extend my tricep, what does my bicep do? Elongate. So the same thing goes that if you begin to trick this muscle into thinking that it's gonna get tight, that deactivates the glute, which in turn may, means that your body has to compensate with other muscles. There it is, and then you're just gonna apply pressure directly downward onto that area. You got a lacrosse ball yet? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Yeah. Practice this on a regular basis, bro. I can assure you this will give you a nice long career. Beyond that, do you want to hit harder? Oh, hell yeah. Do you want to move faster? I don't want to feel tight in the morning. Exactly, and that too, that's another thing. But it's like, if you want to improve performance as an athlete, can you do that by using less muscle? Right. Right. Biomechanically, it's impossible. The body has to integrate if you want it to get... And like, it makes me like sick to my stomach because it's really easy, like... Yes, you're, you're releasing primarily lactic, you're putting lactic acid, and there's a lot of toxins that get stored up in that area. So after you do this kind of stuff, it just makes it matter. That way it just flushes out of your system. But you will feel nauseous doing it, dude. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, totally. But your body will get used to it. It's like anything, bro. Yeah. It's an adaptation. You want to right? your body... Remember, it's never uh, yeah. what's easy or difficult. It's what your body's become ad adapted to. You get what I mean? So it's like, it's like anything. It's just what has your body adapted to, and that's ultimately what's going to determine how successful.